This is a production of the WMFD ESPN Radio High School Sports Network. Ontario, a city in Richland County, Ohio, was founded in 1834. Ontario is home to over 6,200 residents. Ontario is a community with options as diverse as larger cities with the convenience and character of a small town. It's an MOAC showdown as Marion Pleasant travels to the arena where Ontario looks for their fifth straight win. Spartans, Warriors, next. WMFD Sports, presented by Avita Center for Sports Health. Skill, precision, experience. And by 97.3, the Spur. There's a new cowboy in town. Game brought to you by MVP Sports Bar and Grill, a place where families and friends gather over great food and drinks and where friends are always welcome at MVP's. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome into the arena. Andy Jardy joined alongside by Travis Berardi. Travis, Ontario looking to keep things rolling here into 2020. They've won five straight and looking to uh, keep things rolling. Yeah, and some impressive wins as well, you know. Knocking off River Valley, like we, we, we talked to you last week when they played Galley, and they, they held River Valley to zero points in the second quarter. They did the same thing to Galleon last Friday. Really good defensive game, only held Galleon at 27 points. They knocked off a really good Kenton squad the night after, 61-50. They have a win against Orville in the Holiday Classic, and then that big win against Lexington, that loss, that loss against Lexington really turned things around for them and got that streak going. Yeah, we were here last week. We saw Ontario uh, take care of business at home against Galleon and Marion Pleasant coming in three and six, 0 and four in conference. But Travis, they've four of their six losses this year by single digits. This is a good squad. They've given Ontario trouble in previous years. Yeah, I was at their game against Shelby. It was tied at the half. It was close after three and then Shelby pulled away late. Same thing happened when they played at Northmore. Had the lead, but Northmore comes back late pulls off the victory. You know, you hit a shot here, hit a shot there. Those could be two wins. And they're an impressive squad. They get a couple sh couple things to go their way. They could win a couple games down the stretch here. Yeah, as I mentioned, Pleasant has won three of the last four meetings. They split last season, each team winning on their home floor. Three of those four matchups, Travis, decided by single digits. And Ontario won the last meeting on February 15th of 2019, right here in the arena, 50 to 46. Pleasant defending their home court last year, 57-52 on January 11th. So this game's been close. We should expect another close one tonight. And you see that sometimes. This, it doesn't matter about the records. It's just some teams match up against others, and it doesn't matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter about the records. They play well against them, and that's what you could see here tonight. Yeah, Pleasant uh, ended their losing streak. Their last game was Monday. They beat Burn Union 68-59. And Luke Thomas, 25 points in the win. And Patrick Bluebaugh, I feel like we've been saying his name in any sport uh, the last couple of years. He had 12 points. C.J. Temple had 10. But uh, those are going to be some guys that Ontario's going to have to look out for tonight. Yeah, with Bluebaugh, it's like, it's like a few kids around here. You think, hasn't he graduated yet? <laughs> no, it's just he's been so good over his four years that he's just a name that you know. Yeah, Patrick Bluebaugh second in the MOAC with four assists per game, so he's definitely out there doing the dishes, Travis. And look out for Cole Ambrose, too, third in the MOAC, 6.4 rebounds per game, the big fella down low cleaning up the glass. Yeah, Marion Pleasant, I mean, they're 0-4 in the conference, but I think they, they have to be one of the best 0-4 teams, not only in the MOAC, but in conferences all around the area right now. They have the ability to pull off some wins. Yeah, and Ontario won last Saturday versus Kenton, 61 to 50. Warriors trailed by eight at the half, and then they outscored Kenton 17 to four in the third quarter. And Travis, it's all about the defense for the Warriors. Joe Baylog taught that. It's what got them going the second half of the year. They had that big upset of Lexington in the tournament last year. They nearly pulled off the major upset of Norwalk in the district semifinal, took that to triple overtime, but they defense is what they do. That's Joe Baylog's retro. Yeah, that is in fact what Joe Baylog does best here. They preach that defense, but we're gonna take our first time out here. When we come back, we will have the starting lineups and the opening tip for you, but this is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network. At Avita Health System, 
we have the area's largest orthopedic and sports medicine team, providing faster recovery and better outcomes. From the treatment of sports injuries to advanced joint replacement, our team has 180 years of combined experience. So whether you're an elite athlete or just want to get back on your feet, you can trust the experts at Avita Health System. Nobody beats our selection at Menards. Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Motor Oil is designed to give engines complete protection with Pure Plus technology to help keep engines cleaner than comparable synthetic motor oils. Only $3.99 a quart. Peak Global Lifetime 50-50 Antifreeze and Coolant works in all makes and models and can be added to any color antifreeze. Only $5.99 a gallon after rebate. Nobody beats our selection at Menards. Save big money at Menards. WMFD Sports, presented by Avita Center for Sports Health and by 97.3 The Spur. Just moments away from the starting lineups here between Mary and Pleasant and Ontario as the Spartans coming in, trying to get their first MOAC win here on the season. They're 0-4 in conference, but they've been close losses, and Ontario has really found something. 5-2, and 3-1 and in the MOAC as they try to keep pace with Shelby, who they will see next Saturday, Travis. And that's the game you can see live on WMFD. We got that changed up. But for now, Ontario Pleasant. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for Pleasant, Patrick Bluebaugh, guy, football star, basketball star. He's still out there, the senior 5'10 guard. Alex Joachim, the 6'2 senior. Austin Schaefer, the 5'10 senior. Cole Ambrose, the 6'3 senior forward. And Luke Thomas, the 5'9 senior guard. Yeah, interesting to note too, five seniors starting for Pleasant. So they've got a lot of experience out there on the floor. And on the flip side for the Ontario Warriors, Shaquan Coburn, the 6'2 junior guard. Colton Kurtz, 6'0 junior guard. Griffin Shaver, greatest name in the area, hands down in my opinion. Griffin Shaver, 6'1 junior guard. Emil Upchurch, the sophomore. When we saw him last week, I thought he established himself early in the game which was huge for their win over Galleon. If he comes out with that same kind of intensity tonight, Pleasant could be in trouble. And then rounding it out, Nolan Payne, the 6'4 junior forward. And of course, Ontario coached by Joe Baylog. The Warriors are 5-2 on the year, 3-1 in the MOAC. And then coming off the bench, John Nagel. He started a couple games for the Warriors, but he came up big in their game against Kenton scoring 13 points. He's actually fifth in the MOAC with just under one block per game. So, you know, he likes to get into the block party every once in a while. Yeah, John Nagel, fifth in the MOAC. He's averaging about one block per game, which is pretty impressive at the high school level. You do not see a lot of blocks, but he is fifth in the conference, just under one block a game. So watch out for John Nagel down there inside. Uh, he will come in off the bench, as you mentioned, and he provides uh, really a lot of uh, a lot of power off the bench. But we'll take a break, and when we come back, we will have the opening tip here between Marion Pleasant and Ontario. This is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Orton, board-certified plastic surgeon and host of The Doctors. If you've tried every fad diet and extreme workout and still struggle with stubborn body fat, then it's time you call Sotobello. I've personally performed thousands of body fat removal procedures, and the results I've seen achieved by the highly skilled experts at Sotobello are truly outstanding. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently. So eliminate fat on your stomach, thighs, and back. Don't wait to schedule your free no-obligation consultation now. With Sonobello, you can permanently remove stubborn fat and in just one visit. Plus, find out how to get one area free with our best deal of the year. Hurry, this is a limited-time exclusive offer. Call 1-888-415-6548 or go to sonobello.com. 
WMFD Sports is brought to you in part by Richland Bank, Pioneer Career and Technology Center, and by WOB Accountants and Advisors. Opening lineups wrapping up here at the O Arena as we're just uh, seconds away from tip off between Marion Pleasant and Ontario. And Travis, what do you want to see here early on for Pleasant? as they try to uh, get their first conference win here in the MOAC. You know, something they did against Shelby is they hit from beyond the arc early. It kept them in it. They actually pulled out to an early lead. They hit a few threes early on. Solid defense, don't turn the ball over, hit your threes. It kind of, kind of the repertoire that Ontario has. Good defense, no turnovers, hit the three. Both these teams, they're pretty much alike. Except Ontario now, they're starting to get that underneath presence going. But with a four guard set, it's hard. Yeah, and it's interesting, as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Pleasant has won three of the last four meetings between these two schools. So you could throw out the records and uh, we'll see what we get in store tonight. Pleasant wearing the black jerseys, red numbers. Ontario in their white jerseys, blue numbers, yellow trim. And Pleasant controls the opening tip. We're underway here at the Arena. And also we'd like to welcome everybody listening on 106.7 WRGM. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Patrick Bluebaugh dribbling up top at the key. Ontario's defense so tough this season. Especially beyond the arc, their perimeter defense is really what's kept them in games. Ontario still playing some solid defense. Shot is up and no good. Rebound comes down for Emil Upchurch who brings it up for the Warrior offense. Upchurch any given night has a chance of giving you a double-double. It's over to Colton Kurtz now, picks up his dribble, gets it back up top. Coburn for three, in and out, no good, rebound by Pleasant. Good look there for Coburn, just couldn't get it to fall. Both teams' first possessions, ball in and out of the bucket. Still scoreless here, a minute gone by. Can't believe it's week six already. The it's hard to believe. Season. It's hard There's, to believe. That football schedule really threw things off. Nice drive inside, shot up and good. That's Austin Schaefer getting into the lane. First points of the night belong to the Spartans. And with the holidays too, woke up today thinking it was Tuesday. I had no idea what day it was all week. I thought yesterday was Sunday, it's been a mess. Shot up for Ooh, Shaver, nice for he gets Shaver. it to fall and we are tied at two as Griffin Shaver gets on the board first for Ontario. Travis, as we mentioned that Ontario has four games allowing an average of just 39 points a game while the offense putting up 58 and a half. So they have really been dominating teams on the defensive end. And you can see just the way that they are active, always moving, but there's a nice drive inside shot. No good by uh, Joachim and the Warriors come up with it in numbers. Three ball is up and no good by Shaver. Coburn gets the rebound though, kicks it over to Kurtz. Kurtz for three and he gets it. 5-2 Ontario. If he can get it to Kurtz when he's spotted up, 90% of the time he, that's got to go in. Pleasant's had a couple good looks here early on, though. Just they're, haven't been able to get two of them to fall. They're able to attack that perimeter defense of Ontario and get inside the Just haven't had many shots fall yet. Another chance right there in and out. Well, it would, did go in. That one finally does go in. Cole Ambrose. Gets the friendly roll and it's 5-4 now. Ontario with the lead as shot up, no good. And we've got a foul on the floor. Will not be a shooting foul. Upchurch really driving into the lane with authority. Couldn't get it to fall, but it'll be Ontario ball underneath. And we've seen that lately with Upchurch. It really started in that River Valley game. He established his presence underneath the bucket. And in the last couple games, he's now done it from outside. As Colts takes another three and hits. Man. Just a simple inbounds play. Get the ball to Colton Kurtz, he'll put up a three and it'll go in. That's is exactly a, how you draw it Is this it a replay of last week? He three straight threes at the start of the game against Galleon. Yeah, he came out on fire in that first quarter last week against Galleon. A lot of contact inside there. No call, rebound by Pleasant. Shot up, no good. And it's rebounded by Nolan Payne. Warriors pushing it now up to Upchurch. He goes up for the layup, it's good. 10-4 Ontario, and you can see the speed of the Warriors right there. Yeah, Ontario yeah. really frustrating Pleasant right now with their speed, and Pleasant forced to take a timeout. 
Coach Snively going to take a timeout there as you look at the replay here. Nice throw up to Upchurch who gets the layup to fall. 10-4 Ontario. Really getting after it on the defensive end here early and turning that into offense, Travis. Something we saw them do very well last Friday against Galleon. Yeah, this, this team, they like to speed up and down the court. They like to get out in the transition, get those easy buckets. And like we said, that's what Ontario has done the last four games. Jump out early and then maintain that lead. And as, as we mentioned, Upchurch, he had the impressive start last week against Galleon. So did Colton Kurtz and both of them picking up right where they left off last Friday. Uh, Upchurch with two points. Colts already has six as he's buried two three-pointers. That's the difference in the game right now. 10-4 Ontario, 4.38 to go in the first quarter. And you see that with pretty much anybody on the court. Last week it was Kurtz getting a few threes to start off, then Shaver took over the next two periods. He had Upchurch in there in between. Nagel scored. Anybody can score at any given time. Schaefer in trouble underneath, gets it out to Blue Ball. Blue Ball for three, got it. Boy, that's exactly what you draw up in the timeout there. Well executed by the Spartans, and they cut the six point deficit now down to three. 10 7, 4 15 to play. And Blue Ball's another one. You can get him spotted up. He's most likely going to hit that. Look at Upchurch. I didn't know he had that in his game, Travis. A mule Upchurch with the three. Back to a six point lead, 13 7. He looked confident shooting that too. Ontario 5 of 8 from the field here to start. And you can see Ontario's defense. I mean, Pleasant's having trouble. As soon as they get the ball past half court, they are really tr uh, getting in trouble trying to set up any kind of offense. It's a suffocating man to man. Luke Thomas now drives into some traffic. He brings it back out. They dish it inside now. And one bucket good for Cole Ambrose. He'll go to the line to try and convert the old-fashioned three-point 13-9. Ontario nice leads. Nice post move. There by Ambrose and something that you know, other teams really haven't been able to do so far is get it inside, get it to the post. Yeah, and Ambrose, better chance. Ambrose had the size, uh, size advantage there too on Nolan Payne and he was able to go up and get it. So Cole Ambrose will try to make this a three-point play here. Shot is up and no good. Rebound by Upchurch. Upchurch with the ball, top of the key. Nice backdoor cut. Shaver driving in, gets it to go. Oh my Look like Georgetown offense right there, Travis. A little backdoor cut, maybe a little Princeton action for you. A little John Beeline action right there. A little John right Beeline. There. there you go. 15-9 Warriors lead, three minutes to play in the first quarter. Blue ball now up top, being guarded tightly by Jaden Price. Kick out for three, in and out, no good. Rebound by Upchurch, and he throws it up top. Three ball is up, and it is good. Colton Kurtz, deja vu, his third three here in the first quarter. He did this last Friday, and it's 18-9. to nine. They've doubled up the Spartans here. Colton Kurtz, the hot hand in the first quarter. Pleasant now will try and cut into this deficit. I don't know if I want to jinx it, but nobody's turned the ball over yet. You're yeah, you are correct. New Year's resolution by both teams would be my guess. They're gonna cut out the turnovers from their from their games. Just like we need to cut the sweets out. Oh yes. I've already failed that. Oh, there you go. Oh, nope. Almost our first turnover, but Blue Ball able to get it back. Under two to play now, 18-9 Ontario leads here in the arena. Nice kick out. Three ball is open, Ooh. no good. Upchurch comes down with the rebound, and the Warriors have numbers. Gets it inside, John Nagel. There he is. He had 13 against Kenton last week on Saturday, and he's got his first points here of the night. 20-9 Ontario leads. I believe that's a fifth straight field goal by Ontario. They're five for five in the last few minutes. It is impressive. Now, this is our second time seeing them. They have just come out ready to play both games as uh, Nagel will pick up a foul there. And it's Ontario, they're not forcing shots. No. These are high percentage shots that they're taking. And it's the same for Pleasant. It's just Pleasant, they're not getting, letting them fall. But both teams, 
really fundamentally sound right now. Yeah, Pleasant has come out and they've been able to get the looks I think that they would be happy with. The shots just aren't falling for them right now. And it's always tough when you've got uh, Colton Kurtz just draining threes on you too, but right now it'll be Ambrose at the line for two. He gets the, no, the first one rolls in and out. Coburn checks back in for the Warriors now. And Ty Demetti back in. He'll get his first minutes of the game. Alex Yoakum in for the Spartans as well. Ambrose now will try to make this free throw. He's 0 for 2 so far on the night. Shot up, and he gets that one to fall. Third time's the charm for Mr. Ambrose. 20 to 10, Ontario leads now. Just under 90 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. Ontario just running their offense. The Kurtz again, no good. And the Spartans come down with the rebound. Chance to cut this into single digits here. So Kurtz is human. Kurtz is human, yes. One minute left here, opening quarter. Kurtz playing some tight defense. A little too aggressive, though. He gets called for the foul. But boy, he was really, really was going close. after it there. That was close to the pickpocket. But... Yeah, he got him initially, initially, excuse me, but then uh, Spartans recovered it and then he kind of uh, overreached a bit there and got called for the foul. Only the fourth foul in this quarter, under a minute left. It's been a clean first quarter for both these schools. Blue ball being guarded by Price. Blue ball now, jump shot up, tough shot, no good. Rebound though is there, but the shot again not falling for the Spartans and now Ontario throws it up and it's gonna be saved. Ball's all over the place right now. Nagel eventually comes down with the three ball by Shaver is good, and that is a back-breaking play right there. Ontario extends their lead to 13. Huge hustle play there by the Warriors to extend the lead to 13. And it's those plays that really have been their success in the last four games, four and a half games now. Yeah, they've come out and hit five threes in this opening quarter. Three ball for Pleasant, no good. Jokim just couldn't quite find the shot there. Final seconds here. Three ball up by Shaver. It's good if it goes, and it doesn't go. And that'll be the end of the first quarter here at the Arena. Ontario leads 23 to 10 over Marion Pleasant. We'll be back with the second quarter. This is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network. At Pioneer, we help your son or daughter prepare for real-world success. Hi, I'm Greg Nikolai, superintendent at Pioneer Career and Technology Center. When your student chooses Pioneer, they can earn industry credentials and college credits from experts in over 35 fields like healthcare, construction, manufacturing, and many, many more. Whether your student is college-bound or entering the workforce after high school, Pioneer Career and Technology Center can help them reach their goals. Visit pioneerctc.edu to explore all the options at Pioneer. WMFD Sports Replay, brought to you by Donnelly Auto Group. Welcome back into the arena where Ontario jumped out to the 23 to 10 lead. Travis, take us through this play. What was going on here? It's just complete hustle. They went for the, the long transition play, saved out of bounds, gets into the hands of Griffin Shaver and when he's open. More likely than not, that's going to go into the net. Shaver finished with seven points this in that opening quarter. Colton Kurtz led the scoring with nine as Ontario gets it inside now to Coburn. Coburn spin move no good, and it's rebounded by Noah McGinnis as the Spartans will try now to stage a little bit of a run and get themselves back into this game. They had some good looks in that opening quarter. Travis just couldn't get some shots to fall. And on the other side, Ontario, they're up 13 because all the shots that they took did fall. Yeah, they shot well over. 50% in that first they quarter. They were 9 of 14 9 in the of 14. Quarter. Inside now. No good by CJ Temple. And Ontario looking to push the tempo again. Price's shot is up and good. Jaden Price 
gets on the board. His first points of the game. It's 25-10 Ontario, just over seven to go here in the second quarter. Nice little move by Price. He fakes the pass, gets the defense away, turns. He's wide open for the little jumper, and he gets it. Yeah, they left him wide open, and he's going to take that if he gets it. And there you go. First turnover of the game. For 12, Cole Ambrose returns for Pleasant. I wouldn't say that was the, the announcer jinx, though, because I said it that about well three minutes after. ago. It happened well after. It was another quarter that in no way was our fault. So Shaver bringing it up now for the Warriors. Gives it over to Coburn. Picks up his dribble right at the free throw line. Three ball, Namini, no good. And it is rebounded by Luke Thomas. And Pleasant just needs to see one go through the hoop here, Travis. That's all it takes. Yeah. Uh, I was actually covering the Pleasant Ontario girls game last night. Pleasant was up five, Ontario hits a three, and they go on an 11-0 run. And that's what uh, Coach Willicky said after the game, he said they just they just needed to see one go through and it's just contagious. Cole Ambrose inside, that finally they get the friendly roll there. That rolled all over the glass, came in off the backboard, but Ambrose now with seven points. He's got seven of the Spartans, 12. But sometimes it's a bucket like that, Travis, that gets you going. Exactly. Now for Ontario, you just need to answer. The you can't get shot. It there. No good. Blue ball bringing it up now. He pulls up for the mid-range jumper. Shot no good. Rebounded by Ontario. Price now. Left open for three again, and he puts it up, and no good. And now there's a kick out here. Wide open down the other way. Layup up and good for C.J. Temple. And that's now four straight points here for Pleasant. They trail 25-14, five and a half to go, second quarter. Right now, if you're Pleasant, you just want to get it under 10 points. It's early in the game. Tons of time left. Price drives in, contact, nothing there. Rebound by Nolan Payne. He gets it over to Namini, who can't get it to go. And the Spartans come down with the rebound. It's Cole Ambrose doing the dirty work inside, Travis. Big rebound there for Pleasant. It looked like it was about to go back to Ontario for a third chance. But Pleasant comes out with it, and now they have another chance to cut this into single digits. Good luck boxing out Cole Ambrose. Third in the conference with 6.4 rebounds per game. Contact there on the shot, but nothing called, and the rebound comes down in the hands of Nolan Payne and Ontario. Price open again. Outside the arc, he gives it up to Coburn at the top of the key. And on that pleasant possession, it was just, it was one of the first few rush shots that we saw tonight. Three ball is no good there by Coburn. So they've gone a little cold, Ontario has here these last couple minutes. Last few trips, they've uh, come up empty. And this is where the Ontario defense comes up huge. Yeah, this is. They will, go on a, they will go on a cold streak every once in a while, but that defense really keeps the, the deficit up for them. Uh, it's, with the old cliche, it's a game of runs, Travis. Uh, this is where Pleasant, they've got to go on some sort of run here and take advantage of these missed opportunities that Ontario has had. As we got a couple substitutions coming in for the Warriors. As Ty, uh, Payne, and Shaver, all, or, excuse me, Shaver's still out there. Ty and Payne coming off for Ontario. Blue ball picked up his dribble, ran into some trouble there, gets it to Ambrose, who drives in, and he has Ooh. had all sorts of shots just rolling in and out of the rim. That one falls for him. He's up to nine points on the night. And that gets it to under 10 points. It's a nine point game. Plenty of time here left in the second quarter, but up church. Boy, he finally breaks, breaks the cold spell. Yeah, he comes right back into the game. They get him the ball. He drives in and up church now. He's got seven points. And that one knocked out of bounds by Ontario. Don't forget, you can catch WMFD and the games on OTT devices, Amazon Fire, Roku, Android TV, and Apple TV. And that pass is intercepted there by Kurtz. Kurtz for three, in and out. He can't get it to go. And it is rebounded by Luke Thomas. Boy, good look there for Kurtz. Just couldn't get that one to fall. So Kurtz missing his last two three-pointers. He's three of five now from the field. Luke Thomas 
Being guarded tightly by Coburn, he drives in. Misses the shot, but it is rebounded by Austin Schaefer in the hands of Blueball, who hoists up a three and gets three, it to three. go. Blue ball for three. Patrick Blueball now, six points on the night, and it's an eight-point game. Ontario still leads, though, 27-19, just under three to go, second quarter. Second three of the night for Pleasant, both from Blueball, and there's Ontario's first turnover of the game. Yeah, some miscommunication there, and Pleasant starting to seize a little bit of that momentum, Travis. This is a big possession here for them. They could cut this down to two possessions with a made field goal. You almost feel like if they get a bucket here, there might be a timeout to reassess for Coach Baylog's Warriors. Ambrose, shot up, gets his own rebound, or his own miss, and he gets it to go. Ambrose continuing to pile up the points. He's now up to 11. It's a six-point deficit for the Spartans. They're chipping away at that Ontario lead. That's hustle right there. Most, most of the time you'll see, because there's another turnover by Ontario. You usually see after he takes the shot, they'll start running back, but he went straight for the bucket. You missed, he missed it, got the offensive rebound. Nice steal there by Coburn. Boy, big time play by Coburn. Into the hands of Kurtz now, who puts up a three, there and he it gets it to go. Huge swing of momentum right there. Nine point lead now for Ontario. So when it looked like Pleasant was gonna cut this down to two possessions, less than two possessions, Ontario, big steal, Kurtz, huge shot. Blue after ball. missing his last two. Blue ball having trouble getting rid of it there. There's a drive in and an offensive foul is gonna be called on Cole Ambrose as Colton Kurtz was there to take the charge. Kurtz has come up huge here in the last 30 seconds for Ontario. Now Ontario with a chance to put it back up to double digits. As you watch the replay, he was in position. He was there in position. Kurtz drawing the offensive foul. Coach Snively looking for a little bit of an explanation there. He didn't necessarily agree with that one. So Ontario will try and put this lead back up to double digits where it was for most of the uh, second quarter. Coburn looking for his first points of the night. His shot no good, but he gets his own miss and now he drives in, puts the layup in off the glass and he gets his first points of the night. 32-21 Ontario leads, under a minute to play here in the first half. Sixth Warrior onto the scorebook tonight. And that's another thing with Ontario, you have multiple scores. Deep three by Blue Ball Airball. So will Ontario now hold it here for the last shot with uh, just over 30 seconds to go? And a forced pass there by Shaver is gonna result in a turnover. He was trying to get it inside the John Nagel, but uh, there were too many Spartans there, Travis, and it's gonna come away to Pleasant and Blue Ball will be dribbling it now. 20 seconds to go here. They will keep the last shot trying to get this back to under single digits. They're down 11. Yeah, look for them to get something going with about seven seconds left. You always want to give yourself a second chance if that first shot doesn't go in. Someone gets a rebound, easy tip in, five to go. They got to get something going. And there it is, Austin Schaefer, the nice little floater. Half court heave is up by Colton Kurtz, no good. And at the half, Ontario leads 32 to 23, an entertaining first half as Pleasant took advantage of some Ontario turnovers late to get it to single digits. But when we come back, we'll break it down more. This is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network.
I'm Matt Underwood here with my hometown friends, Scott Donnelly and Ryan Sponsler from Donnelly Auto Group. And these guys have some very exciting news to share. We now offer our exclusive Donnelly Difference Plan to customers who purchase a new Ford or select pre-owned vehicle. Our Donnelly Difference Plan provides customers a lifetime powertrain warranty, free oil changes, lifetime car washes, and more. Come see us in Ashland, Galleon, Mount Vernon, and Shelby, and, and discover the Donnelly, Donnelly Difference. difference. Finding it difficult to make decisions and plan for your company's future? WOB Accountants and Advisors in Ontario will work with you offering clarity, strategies and solutions for understanding and using your financial statements. Is this the picture of health? Is he? What about them? At Ohio Health, we believe health exists in all shapes and sizes. And superfoods aren't nearly as powerful as super moms. We believe in listening more than we talk. And see ourselves as partners, not prescribers. Because at Ohio Health, we believe in your power to be healthy. Country music has never sounded so good. I love your music. Music just makes me happy. Just my music. Country song. There's a new cowboy in town. 97.3 The Spur. WMFD Sports, presented by Avita Center for Sports Health. Skill, precision, experience. for your key plays of the first half. Ontario leading 32 to 23 at the half here at the arena, Travis. And Griffin Shaver got the scoring going for the Warriors. He finished with seven in that first quarter, but Colton Kurtz again doing some damage. Four threes in the first half. He started three for three and then hit a big shot after Pleasant started making a run, got it down to six points, but Shaver, I mean, Kurtz, huge three to get his 12 point put it back up to double digits. You also have Emile Upchurch, seven quiet points for Ontario to really keep them in the lead. Yeah, and Cole Ambrose really keeping the Spartans in that, uh, in that first half. He finished with 11 of the 23 points put up by the Spartans. But uh, those are your key plays of the first half. A century. The Mansfield Friendly House has been strengthening family life and building character for the families and children of the Mansfield area. Today, the Friendly House is stronger than ever, offering accredited preschool and after school programs, weekly open swim times, and open gym. Summer camping at Hidden Hollow and Happy Hollow. The Friendly House doors are open for everyone. One of Mansfield's greatest treasures. Get to know the Friendly House on North Mulberry Street. At Avita Health System, we have the area's largest orthopedic and sports medicine team, providing faster recovery and better outcomes. From the treatment of sports injuries to advanced joint replacement, our team has 180 years of combined experience. So whether you're an elite athlete or just want to get back on your feet, you can trust the experts at Avita Health System. Welcome to Bistro 217 in Galleon, where they make everything fresh to order. Start with breakfast. Try one of their omelets with hash browns and toast. Their stuffed French toast with fresh fruit is a must. And for lunch, check out their Southern Smokehouse Burger or the Farmer. Main course, Blossom's Chicken Florentine or Bistro's Chicken Scampi. Try Black Thai Moose Cake. Treats for your appetite. Come to Bistro 217 and meet my mom and dad. WMFD Sports presented by 97.3 The Spur, changing the direction of country radio. Halftime here at the Arena, Ontario leading Pleasant 32 to 23. Pleasant outscoring Ontario in that second quarter, 13 to nine to get themselves back under single digits as uh, they try to make a comeback here in this game as Ontario Travis really, uh, really put together an impressive first half. They came out and uh, really, they were 9 of 14 in that first quarter? Yeah. 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 They had, I think, five or six straight field goals that really pushed their lead out. Pleasant, they answered in the second quarter behind 
Cole Ambrose and Patrick Lubaugh hitting a three, but then, you know, Colton Kurtz hits his fourth three of the night. They get a turnover, another bucket net. That calmed things down for Ontario and keeps it at a nine point lead. Yeah, they had cut this thing down to, I believe it was six points and uh, turned it over right at midcourt and that led to that Colton Kurtz three that put it up by nine. As you take a look at the halftime stats now, Really, nobody, it's been a clean game. Ontario hasn't shot any free throws. Yeah, most of these turnovers have come in the last three minutes of the half. But five, I mean, both coaches probably, they got it. They have to be happy with that number. Five turnovers for Pleasant, two for Ontario. Pleasant shooting 10 of 26. They've had open looks, just haven't had them fall. Ontario 13 of 28, but Ontario, that was a much better, they, I believe they only missed four shots going into the second quarter. But then they went on a cold spell. They finished 13 of 28. And like you said, free throws, Pleasant 1 of 3. Ontario 0 of 0. Ontario was on the offensive boards in the first quarter, but Pleasant 5 in the second quarter. Five offensive rebounds total for Pleasant, 3 for Ontario. Defensively, 8 rebounds for Pleasant, 11 for Ontario. It's, it's, it's a low number because Ontario made so many shots in that first half. Yeah, and it's interesting too. Uh, Cole Ambrose, one of the best rebounders in the MOAC, so the fact that Ontario leading the rebounding battle, granted it's by one, but they are still leading the rebounding battle. That's going to be a key point for them uh, the rest of the way here in this opening half. We'll take our final break here of the half and when we come back we'll have the third quarter action for you this is the WMFD ESPN high school sports network is this the picture of health is he what about them at Ohio Health, we believe health exists in all shapes and sizes. And superfoods aren't nearly as powerful as super moms. We believe in listening more than we talk. And see ourselves as partners, not prescribers. Because at Ohio Health, we believe in your power to be healthy. It's the final days of year-end clearance at your local area Honda dealer. Enjoy great deals across our entire lineup, like the Accord, Civic, CRV, and Pilot. Lease the 2019 Civic, a KBB Best Buy, for just $189 a month. Or lease the 2019 CRV, an IIHS Top Safety Pick, for just $259 a month. But hurry, take advantage of these incredible offers before time runs out. View these offers and more at your local Northern Ohio Honda dealer. Or visit us online at northernohiohondadealers.com. WMFD Sports Replay brought to you by Mansfield Richland County Public Library. WMFD Sports Scoreboard is brought to you by Craig Smith Auto Group and RV Center, exclusive provider of the warranty forever. And Travis, you've got some scores for us. Scores from outside the arena. Second quarter, Worcester leading Mount Vernon 18 to seven. Defensive battle there for the undefeated Worcester Generals on top of the OCC. Firelands Conference score, another battle of undefeateds. Norwalk St. Paul leading South Central 34-26 at Norwalk. How about Norwalk St. Paul this year? Surprising, I mean, for another great football season. They've turned it over to the basketball for one. I think we always just assume South Central and Western Reserve, but Norwalk St. Paul right up there. Speaking of Western Reserve, they are leading Monroeville 40 to 21 at the break. And the N10 carry leads Buckeye Central 29-21. Mohawk over Seneca East 33-26. And Upper Sandusky all over Bucyrus at the break, 54-16. Also, one other score, Mount Gilead leads East Knox 20 to 17. And if you would like the final scores of these games, well, you're gonna have to wait until 11:20 tonight to tune into the Ohio Health Sports more hosted by two guys that we kind of know, Andy Jardy and Travis Berardi. Scores from all around the area, plus highlights to key matchups and the play of the week winner every Friday night at 11.20 on WMFD TV and Saturday at 8 a.m. Our highlighted games, Harding at Clear Fork, another MOAC matchup, MBC matchup, uh, Crestline St. Peter's. We have highlights from this one. We'll talk more about this game during the Scores more and an OCC matchup, Madison at Ashland. That should be a good one as well. Should be a good one indeed. And you mentioned Mount Gilead in those scores as the second half here is underway. Pleasant will host Mount Gilead this upcoming Tuesday. 
little out of conference battle there for them as they try and claw their way back into this thing and they start the second half here off with a shot by McGinnis that's no good but he is fighting down there for his own rebounds and he'll go to the line shooting two as he gets fouled and an emphasis early on to get in the paint, draw some contact, get themselves to the line. That will be Griffin Shaver's first foul of the game. And this is something Pleasant needs to do. Need to get to the free throw line a little bit more. Try and chip into that lead with the clock stopped. Second shot is no good, but McGinnis comes down with the rebound. It was tipped up by Cole Ambrose. And now Blue Ball drives in, and he gets the floater to go. It's a quick three points for the Spartans. We got a whistle there. And there's going to be a foul on Pleasant after the bucket. But it is now down to a six-point game. And we talked about this earlier. Throw out the records when Pleasant and Ontario get together because the Spartans have won three of the last four. And they're, they're not going away tonight, Travis. This is a scrappy team. Like I said earlier in the game, they've lost some really close ones to some good teams. Kurtz deep oh. three. Oh. three. His fifth on the night. Kurtz. Colton Kurtz cannot be stopped. That's a good way to get yourself back, uh, back up to a comfortable lead at nine points. And that's the second time that Kurtz has done this for Ontario. Schaefer now driving in. His hook shot no good. Loose ball comes away, and it's going to be out of bounds off of Ontario. Looks like John Nagel's foot was on the line, so Pleasant will keep it now, inbounding it underneath. 6.43 to go. Ontario leads 35-26. Blue ball now with the ball, and he gets it back up top to McGinnis, who gives it back to Blue ball as he dribbles it out. Gets it inside now to Ambrose. Turns around, puts it up. And it looks like we are going to have a foul called as McGinnis came down with the rebound. Wasn't sure if they were going to call him for a travel when he came down, but it looked like there was some contact there. And it looks like it's on John Nagel, his second. Second foul on Nagel. Pleasant already right with three quick offensive rebounds here. We're yep. not even two and a half minutes into the second half. Yeah, they've been much more active on the glass here early on in this second half. Blue Ball's got the ball now. Shaver guarding him. He kicks it over to Schaefer, trying to get it inside to McGinnis, but good defense by Ontario. They get it to Ambrose, who puts nice it in pass. off the glass. Cole Ambrose, 13 points on the night. And that was just a good job driving a lane, getting a defense to collapse on you, pass it to the open man for the easy layup. Upchurch has it knocked away, and Pleasant comes away with it. Ontario's third turnover of the game. Pleasant with a chance to get it back to two possessions. Blue ball driving in. Gets it down underneath to Schaefer, who gets the fall to go, and he's got six points now. 35-30. On the other end, missed shot by Ontario. They can't come down with it in Pleasant with a chance to chip away some Schaefer more. Schaefer up top, Ambrose, spin move. He goes up, and it's blocked by Coburn. Loose ball now, and they getting a little chippy down there. Jump ball will be called. That's going to go to Ontario. Coburn and Ambrose going at one another there on that loose ball. Substitution. Number 15, CJ you watch the replay. Yeah, look at that move and the block by Coburn. Return to sender. And that's big right now because that could have cut the game to one possession. Pleasant, though, doing everything they needed to do coming out of the half to get themselves back into this game. And a wise decision, too, I think, by Snively there. He got uh, Ambrose out of the game, let him kind of cool down a bit. You don't want to pick up, you know, a stupid technical foul somewhere. Let him calm down a bit. He'll be back in before you know it. In a play that could get a run going for Ontario. Upchurch uh, puts it up what and What a move and by Upchurch. Travis, I just continue to be impressed by this kid. And he is exactly what Joe Baylog needed after Chance Mott went down with a season-ending injury. 
Upchurch has nine points on the night. Ontario leading Marion Pleasant 37-30, four and a half to go here in the third quarter and what has become a tightly contested game. Ontario led by as many as 13 as that shot is up and no good by Blue Ball. Ontario look to go on a little bit of a run of their own. Try and take advantage of Ambrose sitting out. Loose ball, and it's going to stay with Ontario. Or did they call a foul here, Travis? They did call a foul. It's on CJ Temple. Cole Ambrose checking back in. So this one, since early in the first quarter, back and forth. Upchurch Count and it. one. He gets the basket to go. Upchurch will go to the line. Try and make this a three-point play as Ontario now leads 39-30. He's just so confident around the basket, Travis. That's what impresses me the most. He's not intimidated when he gets the ball. And he's only a sophomore. That's yeah, the scary thing if you're anyone other than Ontario. And his free throw is up and no good, so the score remains 39-30. All about, all about confidence, and he's really built that up. Like I said earlier, the River Valley game, he really came into his own in that game, and he's just built from that. Inside pass knocked away, but it does end up in the hands of Luke Thomas. Thomas now over to Ambrose. Ambrose has 13 points on the night. He's driving in, looking for 15, and he comes up just short, rebound to Coburn. Ontario with numbers over to Shaver. Shaver puts up the three from the corner. No good comes down with Pleasant as Thomas comes down with the rebound. Good look for Shaver, couldn't get it to fall. Joachim drives in off the glass, no good. And Shaver comes down with the rebound. Both teams starting to go cold here now. Coburn drives in, fights off the contact and gets the bucket to go and it's back to a double digit lead for the Warriors. 41-30, just over three to play. And just as I say that, Ontario with a big bucket. We'll see if Pleasant now can swing the momentum back in their favor. They had this thing down to six, it's back to 11. And this has pretty much gone with the trend so far in this game. Ralston underneath gets fouled. He'll go to the line shooting two. I believe they're going to call Coburn on this foul. Got bailed out. He was underneath the bucket for the reverse layup. and went up actually up through the bottom of the hoop. But Coburn got a body on him, and he's going to go to the line for two. Yeah, it didn't look like that, uh, that one stood any chance, but he gets bailed out with the foul there. Coburn a little too aggressive. He had that big block on, on uh, Ambrose a little bit ago, and... Looking for a second one there, but got a little too much of the body there. That'll be a foul as uh, Ralston hits his first free throw. His first point of the night. Like I was saying earlier, this is going with the tide of the game. Ontario usually pushing it out just over double digits, and then Pleasant makes a run. We'll see if that can stay the case here. Are you surprised Ontario still has only shot one free throw tonight? I am. But, well, I... But then I you am think and I'm of, not because right. of their perimeter shooting yes. that they've had. That's, that was going to be my counterpoint. Is they've, they've put up a lot of threes. They've made a lot of threes tonight. So they really haven't had to go underneath as much. Kurtz driving in off the glass. Can't get it to go. And Schaefer comes down with the rebound. 41-31. Ontario leads 220 and change to go here in the third quarter. Pleasant with the ball, and it's a turnover there. C.J. Temple unable to keep possession of it. They get it to Jaden Price underneath, nice who passing. gives it over to Nagel, and we've got a foul underneath as Ty Namini hits the floor. Ontario with a really good transition there. Had two guys on the wings, right up the middle, passing it around, trying to get to the open person. Draws the foul. Foul was on Caden Ralston, his first. Thomas, check back in for the Spartans. pass inbounded, loose ball, and it's going to be a foul on Cole Ambrose, who can't seem to keep himself off the floor right now, Travis. I feel like every time there's a loose ball, Cole Ambrose is somewhere on the floor, guys falling all over him. Let's just hustle. 
Sometimes you, you overwork a little bit, go for the ball, you get tripped up. That'll be his third foul as well. As I say, he's gonna have to be a little, a little more careful though as Jaden Price left open for three. We saw him hit some open shots earlier there, but that one doesn't fall. Tried to get his own miss. Stepped out of bounds, it'll be Pleasant's ball. Coburn checks back in for Ontario. 41-31, Ontario leads two minutes to go. Andy Jardy joined alongside by Travis Berardi. Thank you for joining us. Happy New Year to everyone out there watching or listening to us. We've got a great game here in the MOAC. Pleasant looking for their first conference win. Ontario trying to make it five straight wins. Teams have gone cold here to start this third quarter. Ontario 17 to 36, while Pleasant's 14 to 36. Luke Thomas looking for help. Nice drive. And it is Just in and out. The ball. No good as that was Noah McGinnis driving in underneath. Had a nice layup. Here's a pass now, deflected, and it's gonna be out of bounds off of Pleasant. It'll stay with Ontario. Number zero, Patrick Lugall back in for the Spartans. So Ontario inbounds it. Coburn, top of the key for three. Comes up just short, McGinnis with the rebound. Pleasant trying to push it, now they'll bring it back and reset the offense. Ambrose at the top, gives it on over to Luke Thomas. Ambrose now driving back in, he gets it back, and he can't get the shot to fall. Shaver with the rebound. Ontario by 10, looking to make a 12. Namini underneath, he gets it. Ty Namini, his first points of the night. 43-31, under a minute to go here, third quarter. And that breaks a long cold streak by both teams. I was about to say there's a lid put on both buckets, but Namini making the bucket that shut that off. 12 point game, coming up on 30 seconds left here, third quarter. Shaver, nice crossover, then gives it to Luke Thomas, who can't quite finish. Rebound though, guess who? Cole Ambrose. He's up to 15 points on the night, playing with three fouls, but it is late in the third quarter. He can be a little more aggressive right now. Looks like Ontario's gonna hold for the final shot. 16 seconds left here, third quarter. Shaver now, he's got a lane, drives in, and he gets it off the glass, no good, but look who's there for the putback. It's John Nagel. Defense collapses down on Ontario on Shaver. Blue ball is three, no good, and that'll end the third quarter with your score, Ontario 45, Marion Pleasant 33. Stick around, fourth quarter should be a good one. This is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network. Head downtown Mansfield to the world-famous Coney Island Inn on the square. Not only do they have Coney's, they serve breakfast all day long. Try their eggs, hash brown, and sausage with toast, or order up their fluffy hotcakes. Try one of their mini sandwiches, like the Philly steak and cheese. Come in and order some Coney's with their fresh-cut fries. And don't forget to save room for one of their pies. Buy your lottery tickets at the Coney Island Inn. Come see us, Coney Island Inn, downtown Mansfield on the square. WMFD Sports presented by 97.3 The Spur and by Avita Center for Sports Health. Directions Credit Union Play of the Week. Choose your own direction and bank where you are recognized not just for who you are, but for who you can be. Be sure to vote for a Play of the Week. We compile the best plays from all the games and let you vote on the best. Vote at WMFD.com or on the WMFD TV Facebook page, and then we show you those Plays of the Week on the Ohio Health Scores and More, hosted by yours truly and Travis Perardi, who are with you here tonight. Yeah, I can't wait to see what, what the Play of the Week is. Had a a few good nominees, a couple dunks in there from last week. Can I let you in on a secret? Why not? That is my favorite part of the show. There you go. You just never know what you're gonna get. Exactly. Sometimes it's just the fundamentals, but hey, the fundamentals sometimes are good plays as well. I love a good fundamental play. Don't let anyone fool you as Ambrose tries to get things going here for the Spartans, but that shot is no good, but it's rebounded by uh, Caden Ralston, excuse me, eventually John Nagel comes down with the rebound. He was big against Kenton. He's coming up with some big plays here as uh, 
the Spartans force a turnover now. Only the fourth by Ontario. Coach Snively putting his hands up, telling them to slow it down, slow it down. Only down 12, plenty of time here left in the fourth. It'll be interesting to see if Patrick Bluebaugh can get going, Travis. He's had a quiet night. He's forced some shots as of late, trying to get on, back onto the board. I just don't think he's taken many. And there's a turnover there, Ontario now. Jaden Price, nice little move to get the defender in the air, and then he had the easy two there for the layup. 47-33 now, Ontario leads. His fourth point of the night off the bench. It feels like he has more. It, he's created offense. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Colton Kurtz, we're going back to Blue Ball. Colton Kurtz has done a great job on Blue Ball. As the Warriors, they're in an extended 2-3 zone right now. Drive in there off the glass, no good by Luke Thomas, who really has had a tough night. Thomas hasn't scored tonight. He had 25 points in their win over Burn Union. Another turnover by the Warriors. That's number five. There's only their second of the second half, however. So Luke Thomas will inbound it here. He gets it up to Blue Ball, who gets it right about at the middle of the O for the O arena. Catchy name. I like it. There's Blue Ball. He floats one in there. He scored in every quarter, Travis. He has 10. Still a 12-point game. Now the big question, can't be trading baskets here. They're gonna have to lock things down defensively. Don't leave Colton Kurtz open. Kurtz so good, he gets the three to go. There it Colton is. Colton Kurtz. You've been waiting all game to say that. I have, I have. Guilty as charged. 50 to 35, 18 Ontario points. Leads. 18 points for Kurtz. You're gonna have to trademark that. Blue ball has it stripped away. They throw it up now to Coburn. Coburn lays it in. 52-35 Ontario. Just over five to play here in the fourth quarter. Huge momentum swing there. Push it out to 17 points. Ambrose, once again on the floor, and he's fouled though this time, it will not go against him. You know what, these Ontario runs, it seems like they've been started by Colton Kurtz. They have, and here's a look at that. Outlet pass up and transition to Coburn. It is bowl week. You got that's a nice touchdown pass right there. It is. Timeout Ontario. So we'll Ontario's gonna take a timeout. We will take a timeout with them. This is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network. Johnny's Motor Cars is driving excitement. Looking for a special car from classic to the present? Johnny's will find it. Johnny's Motor Cars has quality vehicles, cars, trucks, SUVs, vans, and classic show cars of all makes and models. Most cars include a one-year warranty. Johnny's Motor Cars is locally owned, and I've lived in Richland County my entire life, and I care about our community. Johnny's Motor Cars, 1512 Ashland Road, Mansfield, or visit johnnysmotorcarsohio.com. WMFD Sports Replay brought to you by Avita Center for Sports Health. Don't forget to sign up for our Mansfield Buick GMC Joe Bear Plumbing and Heating Scoreboard to your cell where we will send you a text message of your team's final score. To sign up, go to WMFD.com and click on texting. Brought to you by Joe Bear Plumbing and Heating and Mansfield Buick GMC. Speaking of scoreboard yourself, some late game updates. Worcester leading Mount Vernon 29-21. St. Paul now only up, only up one on South Central, 53-52. Western Reserve 53, Monroeville 32. Cary 45, Buckeye Central 32. Upper Sandusky 73, Bucyrus 24. And one more score. And there's as a foul as Coburn came away with the steal, went up for the layup. Couldn't get it to go, but he'll go to the line and shoot two. Travis, you have that uh, other two score? Two more scores. Plymouth leading Mapleton 28 to 15. And one more score from that Mount Gilead game. Mount Gilead end of three. East Knox 27, Mount Gilead 27. And our score here in the Arena, Ontario leading uh, Marion Pleasant 52 to 35 as 
Coburn goes to the line to shoot two. He gets the first one to go to make it 53-35. 4.52 left in the final quarter. First free throw made by the Warriors tonight, Andy. That's crazy. Crazy. And they're still up double digits. Efficiency, that's what that is. This game a lot closer than the score would indicate. Pleasant had this thing down to six at one point as Coburn gets the second free throw to fall to push the lead up to 19, but... Uh, we just had a late run. Ontario on a 7-0 run right now. Started by yet another Colt, Kurt, Colton Kurtz three. Yeah, he's had a lot of those tonight, six to be exact. And look at the defensive pressure here, the double team, and Pleasant forced to take a timeout. And you know what? We're going to take that timeout with Pleasant as well. You, this is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network. At Avita Health System, we have the area's largest orthopedic and sports medicine team, providing faster recovery and better outcomes. From the treatment of sports injuries to advanced joint replacement, our team has 180 years of combined experience. So whether you're an elite athlete or just want to get back on your feet, you can trust the experts at Avita Health System. WMFD Sports is brought to you in part by Richland Bank, Pioneer Career and Technology Center, and by WOB Accountants and Advisors. Trying to build some momentum here, trailing by 19 as a loose ball is going to be off of Pleasant. It'll go over to Ontario. Tenth turnover of the night by Pleasant. They're down 19 now to Ontario. Ontario, big push here in the last couple of minutes. Well, this is right on pace with what Ontario's done defensively, Travis, the last four games, allowing an average of just 39 points a game in those four games. They've all been wins, and right now they've held Pleasant to 35 with just over four to play. You like to compare these defensive teams to Virginia, right? You know, that, is, that usually is who I go for. That uh, I believe that title, though, belongs to Northmore. But, uh, yeah, definitely reminiscent of a Virginia defense, holding teams under 40 points as there's a trip on, I believe it's going to be on Luke Thomas for Pleasant. Speaking of Northmore, I was at Lucas on Monday night. Lucas and Northmore, really good game. Lucas pulls away late, 55-44. That, that was a, a game between two squads that have the chance to win conference championships in their respective conferences. And another big one for Lucas coming up. They play South Central at Lucas on Tuesday night. That is going to be, as they call, a barn burner, Travis. Colton Kurtz scores from somewhere beyond the three-point line as he gets his first free throw of the game. He's now up to 19 points. Uh, his previous 18 were all from beyond the three-point line as the second free throw is no good. Rebound Patrick Bluebaugh. Ontario leads by 20, just under four minutes to play. Bluebaugh drives in, a lot of contact, and he's going to go to the line and shoot two. Patrick Blueball with eight points on the night for Pleasant. Travis, where do you Blue think this game got Matt away from shots. Pleasant? Because they were in this. It was, it was, like I said, it was when Kurtz hit his 18th point, hit a big three, got a turnover. Coburn goes to the hole, scores. We get that timeout from Ontario. They score again. That 7-0 run really pushed it out. That's, it's just a, a six minutes left in the fourth. And that's... What's happened to Pleasant the last few games, the Shelby game, like I've mentioned earlier, tie game at the half, close going into the fourth, Shelby starts to pull away, and that's happened a couple times for Pleasant this year. Blue Ball gets the first of his two free throws to go. He's now up to nine points. And his second attempt now. Rattles in and out, and it'll go over to Ontario, leading 55-36, 3.45 to go in the fourth quarter. So if Ontario can hold on, they will move to 4-0 and 4-1 and in the conference, right behind Shelby, who's 4-0. Marion Harding as well, they're 3-1. and That's who Ontario has next. They'll play on Thursday at Marion Harding. Harding playing Clear Fork tonight. You can see highlights of that one on the Ohio Health Scores and more. Yeah, the Ontario schedule, they will be on the road for their next three games. As you mentioned, they go to Marion Harding Thursday. 
And then they go to Shelby. I think that game's going to be circled on the calendar for quite a few people. Sam Sayer now also in the game for Ontario. He's checked in for his first time tonight. Three ball is up, and it rattles in and out. Peyton Gosnell's three for Pleasant, no good. He gets the rebound, though, and he will go to the line now and shoot two as well. Close out that Ontario schedule, though. We mentioned they're at Marion Harding Thursday, January 9th, and they travel to Shelby Saturday, January 11th, which you told me has been flexed, Travis. Yes. Shelby, Ontario will be on WMFD on Saturday night. Ontario will close out their road trip at Highland on Tuesday, January 14th, and then they will return home to the o Arena versus Bellevue on Friday, January 17th. Peyton Gosnell's first free throw up and in. So he gets his first points of the night. Final score from Upper Sandusky, 108 to 36 over Bucyrus. They tripled Bucyrus tonight. Upper's good. News, news, breaking news alert. Upper Sandusky's they really were good. The, they were one of the four teams that scored at least 80 points last Friday, wasn't it? Yeah, they were. Sayer shot no good. Pleasant comes down with the rebound, trying to build a little bit of momentum here. They played a good game here tonight. Ontario, though. They just hit their shots. Yeah, they, they were on tonight from, especially beyond the arc. I thought Pleasant, they did what they needed to do, though, to stay in this game. But stuff like that right there, Cole Ambrose, he's, he's had a great night, but he's also had a tough night. A couple shots that really feel like I, sh I really feel like should have gone in for him just haven't fallen. He could easily have 20 points tonight. As it stands, he's currently at 15. That Kurtz three was no good. And Turnover by Pleasant. CJ Temple tried to get one in there. Nice pass up to Upchurch, who scores off the glass. Emil Upchurch. Excellent pass. His 13th point of the game. If there wasn't someone named Colton Kurtz on the team, I think he might end up being our player of the game. I can agree. Upchurch comes down with the rebound. Under two minutes to play. Ontario leads by 20. And Coach Ontario Baylaw going to take a timeout. A 30-second timeout. 57-37, under two to play here in the fourth quarter. And we looked at Ontario's upcoming schedule. Let's take a look, Travis, at Pleasant's upcoming schedule. They will play Mount Gilead uh, Tuesday, January 7th at home. Then they'll host Galleon on Thursday, January 9th. Then they travel to Marion Harding, the battle for Marion, uh, on Saturday, January 11th. And then they will travel to Centerburg on Tuesday, January 14th. And don't forget, you can watch WMFD and the games on OTT devices, Amazon Fire, Roku, Android TV, and Apple TV. And I'm pretty sure all those guys right now on their phones are watching the broadcast. Why not? I think that's, what I else could they be doing? Should. Everybody should. Namini. Can't get that shot to fall. And no call here as there was a bit of a trip there. The legs of uh, Sam Sayer and Grant Cancer got tangled up, but unfortunately for Cancer, they're going to say he lost the ball out of bounds. St. Paul South Central going to overtime. Oh boy. 60 all. Sayer a little short on his hook shot there. Battle Pleasant. for first place in the Firelands. What a great conference that is. Yeah. Two points right there for Caleb Lichtenberger. On the other end, Price is shot no good. Just over a minute to go, Ontario will win their fifth straight game. As they will move to six and two, four and one in the MOAC. Caleb Lichtenberger again. He played some JV minutes, now getting in here on the varsity end. Loose ball picked up by Grant Cancer, and this time he is fouled by Jaden Price. Going back to your uh, comment about the Firelands Conference, South Central, St. Paul, Western Reserve. Oh, Western Reserve is going to have a chance in Division Three Western in that Bristol. district with Willard and so Colonel Crawford. Paul. South Central, them, St. Paul, Lucas, and that Division Great Four district. A lot of good basketball being played at the top of the Firelands Conference. Grant Cancer now at the line shooting one and one, 5'10 sophomore. Getting some varsity minutes right now. He gets the first one to go, so he'll shoot a second one. 57-42, Ontario leads under a minute to play. We have a celebrity watching, Andy. 
Oh, WMFD soccer analyst play-by-play -play announcer Brian Weaver saying hello. Oh, hello, Brian. Thanks for watching. Second free throw, no good. Rebound taken by the Warriors. So Travis, coming into tonight, we had four unbeatens left in the area, but as South Central and St. Paul go to overtime, we will definitely be down to at least three. And Worcester was up 29-21. So that's a close one as well. The Ontario just trying to play keep away, maybe running the clock out here to end this one. But another, another defensive win for the Warriors tonight. Yep. Holding teams to uh, an average of 39 points a game during this four-game winning streak. Uh, 42 points. I'm sure they will be upset by that effort, Travis. Totally, totally kidding. It's been a great defensive effort there from Ontario. Especially here in Division II basketball. Mm -hmm. Drive in off the glass. No good by Owen Hatfield. And it is up to Joshua Lambert for Pleasant. He'll put it up as the clock hits zero. And Ontario makes it five straight wins as they beat Marion Pleasant tonight, 57 to 42. Your final here at the Arena. When we come back, we will wrap things up here. This is the WMFD ESPN High School Sports Network. Is this the picture of health? Is he? What about them? At Ohio Health, we believe health exists in all shapes and sizes. And superfoods aren't nearly as powerful as super moms. We believe in listening more than we talk. And see ourselves as partners, not prescribers. Because at Ohio Health, we believe in your power to be healthy. I'm Matt Underwood here with my hometown friends, Scott Donnelly and Ryan Sponsler from Donnelly Auto Group. And these guys have some very exciting news to share. We now offer our exclusive Donnelly Difference Plan to customers who purchase a new Ford or select pre-owned vehicle. Our Donnelly Difference Plan provides customers a lifetime powertrain warranty, free oil changes, lifetime car washes, and more. Come see us in Ashland, Galleon, Mount Vernon, and Shelby, and, and discover the Donnelly, Donnelly Difference. difference. One of Mansfield's favorites is the Empress Express on Park Avenue West. Treat yourself to delicious Chinese food made fresh. The perfect place for an efficient lunch, the Empress Express makes your food so fast that you will have the time to enjoy your meal without waiting. The dining area has plenty of space and even has computers and a Wi-Fi hotspot. With delivery available in Mansfield, you can relax and enjoy fresh food at the office or at home. See why everyone loves the Empress Express in Mansfield on Park Avenue West. Is not having your high school diploma or GED holding you back? Mansfield City Schools Adult and Workforce Education Program can help you get that diploma or GED, preparing you for work, college, or vocational training. Their patient and caring staff assist you with academic and workforce skills. Choose from seven locations in Richland, Ashland, and Crawford counties year-round. Aspire to learn more and earn more. Sign up at mansfieldadulteducation.com. That's mansfieldadulteducation.com. WMFD Sports presented by 97.3 The Spur. There's a new cowboy in town. Time now for our key plays of the game and what was an entertaining battle between Marion Pleasant and Ontario. Pleasant got this thing down to six in the third quarter, but to start things off, it was Griffin Shaver getting the scoring going for Ontario, but Colton Kurtz, Travis, once again, dynamite from beyond the arc, especially in that first quarter. We saw last Friday, he had three threes early on, kind of cooled off, but tonight, he was on for a total of 19 points. 18 of those came from beyond the arc. Anytime it felt like Pleasant was making a run, Colton Kurtz was there for a three. There's Emil Upchurch draining a three. We didn't know he had that in his game, but he made it. Uh, for Pleasant tonight, though, it was a big game out of Cole Ambrose. He finished with 15 points for the Spartans. He was doing a lot down inside the paint, getting shots to go. And unfortunately, he had a tough night, too. A lot of those shots didn't fall. This was arguably the play of the game, saved by Coburn. And then it was Nolan Payne, or excuse me, not Nolan Payne, Griffin Shaver hitting that three. 
And then Jaden Price acquired four points, Travis. But like I said earlier, he created offense, not only you know with the points, but with the assists. Cole Ambrose creating all the offense, most of the offense for Pleasant, as we mentioned. He had 15 points on the night. Didn't score in the fourth quarter, though. Patrick Blueball, he finished the night with 11. He also ended up in double figures for the Spartans in Ontario. Colton Kurtz, he just really had it going tonight, finishing with 19, as you mentioned, Travis, and yeah. Blue Ball there with a nice layup, getting that to go. And Cole, uh, excuse me, Noah McGinnis getting to the line there. And look at that, that was a big play. A block by Shaq. But it was a, it was a it was a run by Ontario after Pleasant got it back down to single digits. Kurtz hits a three. They get a steal. Coburn layup. Another layup out of a timeout. 7-0 run that really pushed it out. Ontario rolled from there. And Emil Upchurch. He had nine last Friday against Galleon. He ended up with 13 points tonight. As you see, Jaden Price. There was his fourth point of the night. A nice little layup there. Just too much Ontario. A great game, though, from Pleasant tonight. They really fought hard. They were in this game throughout most of it. But at the end, too much Colton Kurtz for them really to have an answer for offensively. And it's 5-0 and oh for the Ontario Warriors. Five in a row. This is your key plays of the game. At Pioneer, we help your son or daughter prepare for real-world success. Hi, I'm Greg Nikolai, superintendent at Pioneer Career and Technology Center. When your student chooses Pioneer, they can earn industry credentials and college credits from experts in over 35 fields like healthcare, construction, manufacturing, and many, many more. Whether your student is college-bound or entering the workforce after high school, Pioneer Career and Technology Center can help them reach their goals. Visit pioneerctc.edu to explore all the options at Pioneer. Friends and neighbors gather around South Lake will first and today on the town Wherever you live, wherever you are South Lake will first, the best by WMFD, Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, and the Richland Mall. What's your body going to look like this January 1st? Have you had the same New Year's resolution over and over again? Well, this year, make it happen. Lose the fat permanently with Soto Bella. Last year, I was making resolutions to go to the gym, eat right. This year, I'm living my resolution, thanks to Sono Bello. Sono Bello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently and with minimal downtime on your stomach, hips and thighs, back and more schedule your free no obligation consultation plus get your january 1st body started now and find out how to get one area free so this january 1st are you going to be starting your resolution or living it i have never been able to fit in a size two 2020 is my year call 1-800-592-8315 or go to sonobello.com WMFD Sports, presented by Avita Center for Sports Health. Skill, precision, experience. Post game brought to you by MVP Sports Bar and Grill, a place where friends and families gather over great food and drinks and where friends are always welcome at MVPs. Ontario wins it tonight against Marion Pleasant, 57 to 42. They've now won five straight, Travis. Ontario really clicking, uh, kind of in the dog days of winter. We're into week six now here of the high school basketball season and they really look like they're starting to establish an identity. Yeah, they pulled away in the second half, 25 to 19, as we take a look at the final stats. Ontario, you know, that big run, started the fourth quarter, really put it away, but they shot almost 50% from the field, 23 of 51. Pleasant, they had open shots, they just couldn't get them to fall. There's a lid on the bucket tonight for them, 17 of 50. Free throws, they had the advantage, 6 of 12, 50%. Ontario went only three times to the line, they were 3 of 5. 
And on the board's second half, offensive boards, Pleasant really took over, but they just couldn't get those shots to fall once again. 11 to three, Pleasant on the offensive boards. Ontario on the defensive boards. You know, when the other team can't make those shots, you're gonna get those defensive rebounds. Ontario out-rebounds them on the defensive end, 23-18. But in the end, Pleasant, as we probably expected, a little bit closer than we expected, however, 29-16 total rebounds. Pleasant turned the ball over much more in the second half. It ended up be, being a 13-5 turnover differential. Ontario only two turnovers in that second half, and that helped them build their lead. Yeah, both teams really did a good job taking care of the ball tonight. Pleasant got a little sloppy later in the game, but they really came out in that second half. Pleasant did. I think they really they threw that first punch to Ontario. They, were, they really took over the rebounding there. They came out, got three offensive rebounds right in the first 30 seconds of that third quarter, cut it to six. Ontario, though, really able to just too much Colton Kurtz, too much balance from Ontario's offense. That was the difference tonight as they were able to pull away to a 15-point win. And speaking of Colton Kurtz, play of the game, player of the game nominee right there? I believe he is going to be our Johnny's Motor Cars player of the game. Player of the game, of course, brought to you by Johnny's Motor Cars on Ashland Road. They have quality vehicles from classic to present of all makes and models. Visit Johnny's Motor Cars Ohio. Dot com. Colton Kurtz, Travis, an impressive showing. He is our Johnny's Motor Cars player of the game. Well, when you hit six threes and a free throw, you pretty much will get the player of the game. But it wasn't only that, it was the timing of those threes. Three or four times he hits those after Pleasant starts to make a run. It shuts that run off. Ontario makes it back to a comfortable lead after those shots. Yeah, Colton Kurtz came out. He hit three threes in that first quarter. He had nine after one. Then he had a three in each quarter from that point on and hit a free throw in that fourth quarter to finish the night with 19. So a great win for Ontario tonight. Good effort from Pleasant, just a little too short uh, at the end. You know what, Pleasant, looking at their schedule, they're going to get some wins coming down the stretch. And like we said, they get, can get some shots to fall. They have the players to be able to do it. They have four seniors. They have a lot of veteran leadership. They have five seniors, my correction. They have a chance to really put it together. I mean, this team played for the MOAC title in the last couple of games the last two years. They won it two years ago. They were into it the last couple of games. They should be fine. They just need to get their footing. That they should. So Ontario makes it five straight wins as they beat Pleasant tonight, 57 to 42. Thanks to our cameramen tonight, Don Beverly, Blake Phelps, Nick Jacobs, over in radio, Dylan Ray, Adam Thompson back there in master control for us, and Landry Snyder doing it all in the truck here for us. A great broadcast from everyone tonight. Travis Berardi, thanks again for joining me. I'm Andy Chardy. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. Have a great new year. Tune in to the Ohio Health Scores and More. Well, if you didn't have enough of us yet, Tune in 11.20 tonight, 8 a.m. tomorrow. We'll have some more basketball highlights for you. Sounds like a plan to me. Thanks again, everyone. Happy New Year. been a presentation of the WMFD ESPN Radio High School Sports Network.